Hi booktube, Lynette here and today I'm going to do a tag video for you. I'm going to do the cosy autumn book tag so this is all about things I like to do in autumn, uh, books I like to read um, and I just thought I'd do this, I thought it might be a bit different from uh, previous videos. Question number one is which book makes you think of autumn? And for this question, I chose Rose Madder by Stephen King. I have absolutely no idea why, because this book, the main part of this book, takes place during uh, the summer, but it always makes me think of autumn. I think because maybe it's a bit of a, um, it, it's a bit of a thriller, it's a bit of a spooky read. Uh, it also had, takes part, part of it takes part in another, another world. Um, which always makes me think of autumn when I read that part of the book so I think that's why and I think I've always read it later on in the year as well it's definitely not a summer read um, for me anyway uh, it's always one that I've read later in the year uh, when the nights are drawing in and uh, you just want to curl up with a, a good book that's um, just going to keep you on the edge of your toes and, and keep you guessing question number two is your favourite autumnal cover I don't really own books that I think are actually autumnal um, or have autumnal covers uh, but a book that I uh, book cover that always makes me think of autumn is this particular version of The Hobbit by J.R. Tolkien. I've had this cover for a few years now um, and with the the trees and the yellow background yellow writing it just always makes me think of autumn um, so I really do and I do love this cover it's a cloth bound uh, cover and it's just so comfortable to hold um, so it really does bring out the autumnal feels uh, for me. Question number three is your favourite autumnal drink to read with? I don't really get into the um, autumnal drinks, I don't tend to like those so much here in the UK. Um, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin and that's a big part of the autumnal drinks that uh, that come out um, but I do love a really good cup of tea uh, I don't think you can beat uh, Yorkshire tea the brand Yorkshire tea uh, over here in the UK it is one of the best brands of tea out there and it makes a lovely strong cuppa um, so I, I do love a good cup of tea uh, if something's got cinnamon in it I'll give it a try question number four do you prefer to read late at night or early in the morning I'm not an early riser at any time of the year, so definitely late night reader for me. Uh, I can pick up a book in the early evening and keep going until the small hours of the morning. Um, I'm very much a night owl, uh, so yes, I'd, I'd much prefer to read later in the day than early in the morning. Um, I'm, like I say, not an early riser. I'm actually very grumpy if I'm woken up in the morning. Question number five. Halloween is coming, what is your favourite spooky read? And I have to say my favourite spooky read is The Magic Cottage by James Herbert. Um, I've read this one a few times and it's one of the few books which has elements in it that are capable of scaring me and even though I like I say I've read it a few times every time it takes me by surprise and I'm, I, I get scared all over again um, there's suspense it's about a couple who move to a, a cottage um, their dream home and some events take place in that cottage which are not possible um, it's a bit paranormal uh, it's got leanings towards cult activity um, and it just never fails fails to give me the spooky feelings and I just absolutely love it. It's a book that I can read again and again and again. Question number six, what is the ultimate comfort read for you? Uh, looking at my shelves, um, you can probably tell that I absolutely love Harry Potter. That is one of my go-tos if I'm having um, reading slump or any issues like that at all or I just want something to, to pick me up then I will go to Harry Potter. But I have to say the ultimate uh, comfort read for me is actually The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, as I said in, earlier in the tag, this is a copy I've had for a while. I've actually still got behind me in here, I've still got the original copy that I bought when I was 10 years old. 
uh, which if I were to attempt to read that now, the pages would fall out. I've read it so many times. Um, it's a story that I have read over and over again. I absolutely love it. And I'm long overdue a reread of this. Um, so I really do need to pick it up soon. Um, and I'm glad I've got this copy because it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I will be hopefully reading that before the end of the year uh, if I can fit it in. Um, but it, this is one of my absolute favourite, favourite books. Question seven, what is your favourite autumnal snack to read with? Um, I'm a big snacker, uh, so chocolate is always good. Um, but at this time of the year, uh, there is a brand in the UK called Kipling who make cakes and they bring out a lot of uh, branded um, Halloween and uh, autumnal themed cakes may make changes and they make a particular cake called Viennese Whirls. Usually they're just strawberry jam and cream in them. At this time of the year they put toffee in them instead and I absolutely love them. They're really Moorish. I can sit and eat, a, there's only six in a box and I can eat all six in one go. Pretty much feel sick when I've done it but I can eat all six in one go. Uh, so I do buy them and tend to hide them so that I can't do that. Uh, but yes, they are a, a very, very Moorish snack for me. Um, also, uh, Jaffa Cake have brought out, um, makers of Jaffa Cake have brought out a pineapple flavoured one, which is very, very nice. Um, they brought that out in the Jaffa Cake bars uh, last year and I just went through packets and packets and packets of them. Um, so I absolutely love those as well. Uh, but yes, anything like that, anything that's uh, themed. I'm not so much a fan of the, like they do the green slime and things like that, um, themed foods. But yes, anything that's toffee, cinnamon, um, fruity, I absolutely love. Question number eight is what is your favourite autumnal candle scent to burn? Uh, I don't really know. Um, I've never really thought in terms of um, seasonal scents with candles i absolutely i love burning candles um but i i prefer when it comes to scents i prefer fresh scents rather than um floral or uh, musky scents so autumnal scents for me are not really something but if it's something that evokes the feeling of um wood smoke firesides anything like that at all cold crisp days anything like that at all then i would i would absolutely really really love that um and i do like to have candles burning um in the evenings now question number nine is when you're not reading what is your favorite autumnal activity to carry out uh i like walking through piles of leaves and kicking them around um but i'm not a fan of being cold so i don't go out very often so i'd have to say probably curling up under a blanket with a warm drink and binging on a TV show. Um, probably something like Gilmore Girls, uh, which brings out the autumnal and um, winter themes anyway. So something like that, that would be the ultimate in cosy for me if I couldn't sit and read. And finally, question number 10, what is on your autumn TBR? I don't have a seasonal TBR, so I haven't really thought of that. Um, but like I said just now, I'd like to try and read The Hobbit before the end of the year. Rose Madder, um, which I mentioned earlier, has very much been on my mind for the last few weeks. Um, so I'm hoping to pick that one up and read it at some point in the next few months. Um, because when I, when I get to that point where I'm just constantly thinking of a book, then I do need to pick it up and read it. Um, and yeah, I'm just at the moment, I'm I'm trying to work through books that I had pre started in previous months. So I've not really thought about uh, seasonal TBR. So I'm not really sure um, for the remainder of October, obviously, and, and into November, um, what I'm going to end up reading. What about you? Um, what are your answers to the questions? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.